What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on a new 10 inch full HD tablet which runs Windows and Android on a dual boot. So this is the latest All Do Cube tablet by iWork 10 Pro. So I have two boxes in front of me, the tablet itself and the optional official magnetic keyboard which is actually sold separately. So let's begin with a very quick unboxing. I will begin with the keyboard and then we'll do the tablet. So here is the keyboard, it comes with instruction manual as well. So the first thing that hits me is the keyboard is made from aluminium metal. It does feel quite premium and it's finished in this dark navy blue colour. So on the top you have your dock and magnetic hinge. The keyboard keys themselves are quite sturdy, um, they're hard keys and they don't wobble about at all so they do feel quite premium. You also have a very nice looking trackpad, chrome design and a fairly decent size for a 10 inch tablet. And you've got some power indicators there including caps lock. So that's your keyboard guys, let's get the tablet out of the box. So this is everything you get in the tablet box. You've got your paperwork, instruction manual, you've got an OTG cable, a USB-C charging cable. You also get a tempered glass screen protector, so that's real tempered glass there. So yeah, quite nice to receive this in the package. Totally not expecting one of these. This comes with a tablet case. Very useful magnetic tablet case, finished in this what looks like PU leather um, with all the cutouts. Last but not least, the tablet itself. So here it is guys, the Aldo Cube, and it is indeed a very nice looking tablet. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. Now on the front we have a 10.1 inch Full HD IPS screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. You've got 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. We also have dual cameras, 2 megapixel on the front and there is also a 2 megapixel on the back. Now you also have built in Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth version 4 and this comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Home and Android 5.1 on a dual boot. There is a 6500 milliamp battery and you can expect to get around 4 to 5 hours of general usage. Furthermore, this tablet also supports USB-C fast charging. Now the back of the tablet is made completely from metal and you've got a chrome finish going all the way around. Now this tablet is only 9mm thick and weighs 586 grams. So very slim and ultra light. So you have a pretty decent solid build quality, a good looking screen, viewing angles are also not bad, although the actual screen is not as bright as I would have liked. Now let's have a quick look at the ports. So on the top of the tablet you have volume rocker and power button and on this side we have a headphone jack, mini HDMI, a micro USB port, USB type C port and a micro SD card slot supporting up to 128 gigs. Now if we keep going, so at the bottom of the tablet you have your dock and magnetic connection and on the other side we have dual speakers so the speakers are actually on the same side. So let's attach this to the keyboard and see how well it works. Now the keyboard actually has two full size USB ports on the either side so that's quite useful so here we have the tablet docked on the keyboard and as you can see we now have a regular laptop style look and it closes up very nicely just like a laptop so when you first turn on this system you'll get a choice from Android and Windows if you don't press anything it will automatically boot up Android so we are in Android 5.1 at the moment here is your app drawer these are all the apps you have on the system as standard and I'm quite happy to see you do have the Google Play Store so let's see how this device handles YouTube streaming. So you can stream a maximum of 1080p on YouTube. So that was the YouTube test, let's move on now to the gaming test and I have connected the GameSir G4S via Bluetooth and it's connected successfully.
so we've now booted into Windows to give you guys a quick overview of what to expect. Now here is the system storage info. You have a full version of Windows 10 Home, which is exactly what you would find on a regular PC or laptop. You can run any of the regular Windows applications and the basic tablet games from the Windows Store will play absolutely fine. Now in Windows, you are able to play YouTube at 1440p and Netflix at 1080p. And here are the results for the Antutu version 6 Windows test. Now it's time to check out the results for all the various tests including Wi-Fi and benchmarks. So here is my top performing tablet chart for 2018 showing you all the latest tablets and seeing how they compare with each other. All devices have been ranked by Antutu scores and as you can see the Audio Cube has taken position 7 on this chart. You can view all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the All Do Cube tablet by iWork10 Pro. So these are my thoughts on this tablet. Now whilst you only have Android 5.1, you still have a great Android experience. Plays games and streams movies online with no lag or issues at all. However, the screen does not get very bright, so you will not be able to use this outdoors. Camera is very basic and here are a few samples I took, but the low quality pictures were expected at 2 megapixels. You have dual speakers and both are located on the right side. They produce quite a low volume with distortion. So sound quality is certainly not great. Finally, Windows felt a little laggy when trying to stream videos from the web browser. Bottom line, for under $200, this is certainly not the best dual booting tablet you can get. If you are looking for a dual boot, then I highly recommend the Chubi Hi10 Plus, which totally outperforms this tablet in every single way. I always research the products that I bring to the channel and therefore most of the time I have awesome tech to share with you guys. But there will be times when this is clearly not the case, but you know you will always get my honest opinion. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.